What is up everyone? I am back at my house just hanging out. The weather is so good. It is beautiful out. Today I want to dive into this video. I want to get you guys some cool shots of these houses. I think I'm filming two videos today. Two to three videos minimum. I didn't upload really this week. I was just trying to find like cool houses to go to. I didn't want to just upload like something kind of boring. So today I'm going to be filming two houses. I'm going to put history to them. I'm hoping to go to this awesome house. Let's just hop into today's video. Yeah. All right, everyone, so I'm officially here. As you can see, the house is behind me. It's sitting on the main road. There's a fork in the road. It's a very scary looking house. It's an old stone house, as you can see, and they put some siding on over here. It is all boarded up. That gives it such a creepy look. There is the peeling paint all up top. How cool is this old portrait here? Look at that. It's like falling in, sinking into the ground. I'm not sure if the outsides were an addition. I, I don't think they were, but you, the, both the outsides are siding and the middle is stone. Maybe that was normal back in the day. I'm gonna walk in the road. I almost wanna show you guys the size of this house. It's not small, but it's not big. I mean, I guess it is kind of like a small house, but it, it really isn't too small. I've been in a much smaller houses. This might have even been considered big for back in the day. Something I hate on the ground over there, it is filled with poison ivy. So this is the backside right here, and this is a way cooler than the front. It has an old, like, little porch here with a roof, like, balcony and the door. I don't know how, but this side is definitely a lot more scary, like, slash eerie looking than the other side. The back is more scary than the front, is what I'm trying to say. Up here you can see that it's 100% coming out, like that's barely hanging on. There's just this bottom part hanging on. You can even see the light coming through the backside because it's not even attached to the roof anymore. Like it's not even attached to the stone. The hooks like gave out. But look at like the art like work up here. I know it's nothing like too, like, it's not like nothing anything fancy, but it is cool like how it's still there and it still gives it its own unique style. It feels so good to be out here exploring in nice weather. I mean, I've been waiting for this all year. It's my first summer with having like an audience like you guys. So I'm so like, I'm super grateful for having you guys here. And I can't wait to explore these houses and hopefully for all you guys to enjoy because there is going to be a lot coming. So I have to admit, usually when I come to houses, I at least know 1%. I know something about the house, whether it has a story, whether it doesn't. This house, I really honestly don't know anything about. I just know that I was, like online there was an abandoned house here, so I just wanted to come film it, and then I'm gonna go home and find if there is a story, if there is any details, go under the township, and if there is, I will gladly include history. If there isn't, then I'm just gonna have a nice abandoned house video. Either way, it's still super awesome. And that goes for the same with the other house. The other house is actually right here. It's like right down the road. So I'm gonna be filming two separate videos because I wouldn't wanna like mix and match them in one because they are two different houses. So I'm gonna make two videos out of it, but it is right here, right down the road. So I'm coming out on the road over here to get a better shot of the actual house. Look at the moss on the roof. You can really see how the roof's caving in, but I'm gonna get out of the street because I'm about to get hit. Something I forgot to add when I was on the side of the house, that it's decently tall. I mean, 
it really let me see what it looks like on camera yeah it does you can see it's tall it's a, it's a pretty tall house it has it's two stories but you can see up there there's like an attic but it is it's a very narrow and vertical house i mean it's not very wide i mean if i laid down you could probably fit like three of me in there but it's very tall look at the stone on this house like i could go up there and just pull that out that's how weak that looks up here is obviously better but down here it's like wet and like moisty like I, I feel like I can pull those rocks right out. That's how weak it really looks. As you can tell also, like I'm just pointing out the obvious here, but this has been boarded up for a very long time. You can just see how old these boards are. Something that's really cool is that there is a ton of like abandoned, nah, not really abandoned, but there's a ton of old colonial houses in this area. So once you hear that, you know that there's some abandoned places around here. So I will be coming around seeing online if there is any abandoned places that I could visit around here more. I know a lot of people like seeing some of these old stone houses and just like seeing how some people lived like this tiny doorway. Look how narrow it is. So, but I know you guys like seeing some of this so thankfully there's a ton of it in this area and I'm definitely good like I'm definitely stoked to start filming a lot of it So this is the far right side of the house. This is the side I didn't show you yet. This side has two windows up top, one there. It, it kind of bugs me how it's not even. There's one window there and not one there. And then there, it's even down here. <laughs> that little stuff is like OCD. That's like OCD for me. I definitely would like if there was another window there. But it is awesome, look at that. The vines covering those little windows. So that's how you know there is like either a decent attic or just a third bedroom up there. And this is just an old stone chimney. But I'm right in the fork of a road, and this is the house. Look how close the house is to the road. They don't make houses like that anymore, nor would I want my house that close to the road. Something cool is that you can loop right back around to the front, and what really gives it like perspective is that, but if you walked in this door, you could take less than 10 steps and be out that other door. That's how like small the house is. But it is long and tall but it's just very skinny. I'm guessing this is an old like clothesline back here. It's just rusted standing in place. And this would have been their yard, as you can see. These columns are nice though. Look at the art and detail that they had on these. I mean, if this was restored, it seems like it would still be a, like a nice house. It would need a lot of work though. I could only imagine the inside. So although this house is extremely old looking, there's certain parts of it that don't look like that old, honestly. Like this pipe right behind me, like there, there was electrical boxes on the other side. So like, I feel like it's not that old, or at least it hasn't been abandoned that long. But like, look at this pipe behind me. Look at the whole house that I've been showing you. And like this, like, like it's like shiny. Like that really doesn't look too old. 
so for a video like this i'm just getting a bunch of shots so hopefully that there's history or i include some facts or really any information about this house hopefully for everybody to read so you guys know more about this house i know you have i know you guys have been enjoying that so i want to get as close up far away and as detailed shots as possible also guys while i have a minute i want to go ahead and thank everybody who turned on my post notifications by clicking the bell if you turn on my post notifications by clicking that tiny little bell, I will put your name on the screen and give you guys a shout out. So this is all the people who turned them on since my last video. So thank you so much to everybody who turned it on and everybody who keeps turning it on. All you gotta do is click it one time and it is on forever. You never have to press it again and you'll get notified for all my videos. This way you don't miss any of them. Also, while I have a second, I wanna include my Patreon. It is like a donation site, but you get rewarded based off what you donate. So I have prizes for you guys if you donate this amount of money you get this if you donate this amount of money you get this going from just talking to me on a phone to also getting free merch and stuff when I eventually have my store up and running so go ahead and check that out it is called patreon it'll be in the top of the description so anything helps and thank you guys so much so let's just jump right back into this video Since I am fading into more towards the end of this video, I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'm gonna do some more shots just in case there's more history. So hopefully all you guys do enjoy the video. Like I said, going right down the street and filming another house. And I think the second house is a lot cooler than this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like on the video and drop a comment, that helps me out so much. Check out all my links in the description, follow my social medias. I post stuff behind the scenes of these houses, like on my phone. And I hope you guys all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video, and I'm out of here. Peace.